Hey guys, uh, Math 6620. Uh, the purpose of this video is to introduce you to uh, sensitivity and uh, specificity. I have no idea why those are so difficult for me to say, but uh, they are. So uh, sensitivity and specif specificity, uh, easy for you to say. Um, are just just more kind of diagnostics that we can implement uh, when we run a logistic uh, regression model. And we put a lot of emphasis on logistic regression in this class uh, simply because um, you know the 66 10 66 20 sequence is to give you the quantitative methods that uh, can kind of turn you into an education researcher which is the per, you know, kind of what we do in 6996, 6997, 6998. So um, this is going to be the first video. The second video I'm going to put up, we're going to, we're going to actually implement this uh, within uh, some, some more, uh, so, yeah, just some more complicated stuff. Uh, but I, w I wanted to put, just, just make a quick video uh, and introduce you to how we can uh, take a look at this uh, on R. Okay, now what I like to do, uh, is, you know, I like structure. I think most mathematicians like structure. Um, I like to look, think of sensitivity and specificity uh, as a two-by-two two table. And if we think about our observed Y, um, and since we're l looking at this in the context of a logistic regression model, then our observed Y is dichotomized. So I'm going to say that the observed Y is either yes or no, true or false, uh, some sort of coding uh, that's uh, been classified as one of two ways. What we have next is we have our predicted Y, and I like to set up my table as yes and no. Now, uh, the, the reason I'm focusing so much on this structure is sometimes in R, depending on the way that we enter things, we might get these as a no yes and a no yes. So uh, for this illustration and definition, these, these definitions to work, we have to set up our table uh, with this structure. Okay, well anyway, I'm going to call this uh, cell A, uh, cell B, cell C, and cell D. And it turns out that we give these things names, each one of these cells. Uh, this turns out to be a true positive, probably for obvious reasons. Uh, we've observed a true case and uh, uh, it's a positive association. Uh, we're going to call this a false positive. We're going to call this a false negative. And of course we call this a true negative. Now why? Why would that be a true negative? Well, uh, what we've actually done is we've, we've accurately classified anything that's, that, that is given as true means that we've actually made a, uh, a true classification. So in other words, this was a, uh, uh, a positive uh, a yes observed and we uh, predicted it to be yes. This is a uh, pr uh, observed no and we predicted it to be no. So uh, the obvious uh, true there. In, in a similar argument for this. Now, um, it turns out that um, the sensitivity, and we're going to get into something called percentage of accurately classified cases. Um, you know what? That That's not really as clear as I like it. So let's see if we can get that a little clearer. Okay. Um, so we'll get into something called the percentage of accurately classified cases, which give us an overall diagnostic on this um, uh, on on these results. But sensitivity uh, and specificity tend to come in and just focus on uh, the observed observations that were either true or false, this or that. In this case, yes or no. Uh, it turns out sensitivity is just going to be found by taking a over a plus c. So sensitivity focuses on the observed true values, if you will, yes. And it looks at the percentage of the true positives over um, the, the, the observed Ys that, the, that were true. Uh, well, yes, however it's... Uh, 
uh, however it's laid out. The other way, we look at start from D and we look backwards. So this is actually D over uh, B plus D. So our focus here is on the observed Ys that weren't what we were observing. Uh, and I think the illustration I'm going to give you, I, I did something with um, the occupational therapy department in terms of fall status. Uh, it's going to be in the next video. Um, and, you know, our uh, patients that we were examining, you know, either fail or they didn't. Uh, students either succeed or they don't. Uh, people who check into a hospital, hospital ER, they either live or they don't. So, again, we've, we've dichotomized things in, in terms of, yes, it happened, and no, it didn't, putting the twist on um, the, uh, the situation at hand. So, anyway, as long as you set up your table this way, these definitions for sensitivity and specificity uh, will always work, okay? Now, uh, quick illustration, all right? So I wanna get out of this, and what I wanna do is I wanna go to Blackboard, and you'll notice under your, now I'm gonna use this video in future classes, so, um, uh, so, so you know, whatever your class is, this particular class is my spring 2017, and for this particular class, uh, this uh, information is being taught in week 10. You know, again, whatever it is for you. So I'm going to open up data set number one. It's just a kind of a hypothetical data set. Uh, it's, it's, it really is just something I made up. Um, unlike the data set I'll use in the next video, which is something we actually went out and collected and actually uh, uh, studied and I uh, don't want to do all that right now, uh, and actually published. So, so what we've got here is we've got, um, it looks like a pretest, a gender, zero and one. Uh, I, I have no idea what uh, zero and one stand for. It's, it's not important in this, this illustration. Uh, grade one and grade two, apparently these were grades in a previous class. They either succeeded or they didn't succeed. And this is the success in the class that uh, we're actually examining. So don't get too caught up in what the variables are. Um, uh, not important. This, this Again, this video is simple. It's just to uh, examine how we can uh, uh, take a look at sensitivity and specificity using R. Okay. So the very first thing I would want to do is I want to save as to my desktop so I can go get it. And I'm just going to keep it simple because I don't want to um, type all that sophisticated stuff. Comma separated values. And it should now be on my desktop. Let's see if it is. Uh, yeah. All right. So let's get R and, um, and get, it, um, get it happening. 